Now, when you are disabled and you go to the movie and you are relaxing because your joints hurt, your ankle and back, right? You're not going because you're able to work anymore, right? You're not able to work, right? You used to could do everything, not just work, but work out, right? And all that before you joined the military, right? You have evidence, right? That you were working two and a half, well, these one and a half jobs, right? Full and part time, right? Right. Before you joined the military. Now, what seems to be between you and the military is the military, where you were injured physically and mentally, yet before that you were fine, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you also can't tithe more than you actually make, right? Your first priority is to pay your home. Your rent, your car, your transportation, your insurance on both, right? And then what? The rest are bills, right? Bills and credit cards are not so you can charge more on the credit card, right? Or you don't get out of debt. <laughs> right? Right. But yeah, if you go to the movie, right? And this a few dollars, right? Six to nine, right? You get a little snack. That's around five. But that's also pay the um, people behind the counter because the movie people make the money from the movie, right? They only give a little bit to the theater, right? I told you this before, right? So the people working behind the counter have to charge you to work. So you can get your popcorn, right? Or whatever you want during the movie, right? Now, if I go by myself, I don't even get popcorn, right? That's a waste of my money, though. <laughs> but I will get a dessert if I ate lunch, say, at Taco Bell, right? Which is my lunch, right? <laughs> For the day. Let's say I got a combo, right? Plus a dessert, right? But I didn't eat until around noon either, either, right? I'm not going to eat again until around 6 or 7 tonight, too, right? So I'm eating two meals a day, right? One I might eat at home and one I done, you know, ate, say, at Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. Well, one's more expensive, but I still have to buy stuff for the other meal, too. So there we go again, right? Will it go round in circles? Right? Will it fly high like a bird up in the sky, right? That's a song, right? I used to hear it on radio growing up, right? But I forgot who sung it, right? Some dude, maybe Chicago or some group. I don't know. But again, it goes around in circles, right? And like I said, if I see M. Not Night Shyamalan's knock on the cabin door, right? And someone knocks on your door or rings the doorbell. That's coincidental to begin with, Mr. Shyamalan. You know that, right? Is all one knocking at the door? Somebody ringing the bell? <laughs> That's the old Paul McCartney and Ween song, right? Now I have to change the melody there a little bit. <laughs> not my song, not your song. Because that's Mr. McCartney's song, right? <laughs> and whoever helped him write it, of course, right? <laughs> Unless he wrote it himself, right? Of course, then he gets credit for that, too, right? <laughs> but again, I'm a consumer, too, and I'm critiquing that I like Mr. McCartney's song. <laughs> I'm singing a little bit of it for you, right? <laughs> As I heard on the radio, right? Sister Susie, Martin and John, Fiona Luther, Whoever else comes along. Now there, I had a little lyric. <laughs> Show us where the meeting, Mr. McCartney. <laughs> Impersonate your song there. <laughs> Nothing personal, sir. <laughs> it was a good song when it came out. I still like it today. <laughs> As a matter of fact. <laughs> not that I know you personally or not. Or not. <laughs> or Mr. Chevron. Everybody's concerned with the apocalypse. <laughs> now what you can't do is let a... Nine, ten-year-old girl knock on my door and refuse to leave unless she has sex with me. You can't do that. <laughs> Even if she looks like my girlfriend in my dream, <laughs> if she won't leave unless I have sex with her and then you send the police after we have sex, 
That's entrapment, Mr. Shamalon. <laughs> and little girl, <laughs> and little girl. <laughs> when I say, no, you're not to have sex with an adult, it's not because you can't have sex with the adult, it's because you can't. Right. But you're not here because you can get to me or I'm not concerned how you even got here, am I? Right. <laughs> little girl. <laughs> How did you even get to my home? Are you lost? Are you, did someone kidnap you? Cause you're not supposed to be in my home. Right? My home is a sanctuary to teach you the word of God, <laughs> which obviously I'm studying <laughs> the word of God <laughs> and wrote a book right. to help you understand it yourselves. Cause we don't, right? Okay. Mm -hmm.